Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. And as you might have guessed from the heading guys, this is another cautionary tale. Another parcel horror story. Well this time guys, it's at the fault of AliExpress and flipping Royal Mail. Um, yeah, obviously <laughs> the big package from America was already a massive horror story and this is this doesn't even barely touch the horror story of that one. But at least with that one, we finally got the package, didn't we? Um, it might have cost twice as bloody much and taken a flipping... God knows how long for it to finally be sorted out. I mean, it was like over 20 days, like 25 days or something altogether. Unbelievably ridiculous. But at least there was a package at the end of it. Uh, this time, guys, there is no package at the end of it, and there never will be, I don't think. But we'll begin at the beginning, shall we? What is it that I actually bought? This is going to make you laugh, guys, because I thought this was going to be a brilliant video when it finally arrived. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen, so I might as well show you what I bought from AliExpress. This. It's the chicken console. Yep, it's a uh, little, uh, I suppose, clone-type console that plays probably NES games. Not that I'm, I'm ever going to find out. Has so many built into it, and it is in the shape of a chicken with a bit of a rubber thing on top there. Um, yeah, very, very interesting-looking, funny-looking thing. And it was going to make a really awesome video. But, guys, um, you know, AliExpress is a funny one because I've bought numerous things from there now sometimes they take twice as long to come as what they claim uh, other times i've been very very uh, surprised and they came very quickly so it's a bit of a mixed bag and it depends on what seller it is as well it's a bit like you know ebay for that uh, it really does depend where you get it from i've had some good experiences and i've had some awful ones but this is dire guys this is awful experience to say the least but it's not just their fault it's also the fault of Royal Mail. So what happened is it was taking longer and longer and longer than what they said for it to arrive. That was the beginning. So obviously I paid just short of uh, 12 quid for this machine. So it's not a, a vast amount of money involved here, but I'm going to be losing 12 quid and that makes me angry. Um, so yeah, finally, while I was actually out picking up the uh, American package, uh, I got told that it had been delivered. So I was like quite chuffed. I knew my missus was in um, and I thought, well, no doubt it'll have to be signed for and at least she's in to take it. So uh, when I got home, no package anywhere. Uh, my missus works nights and she was still in bed. So obviously she hadn't been knocked up and gone down and signed for it or anything. Uh, no package anywhere to be seen. Yet it's marked up on Royal Mail track that it had been delivered. At uh, 7 minutes past 11. So she was in. She might have been having a nap. But she was in. And there was no card through the door. Because you know sometimes if you don't hear the door or whatever. They'll put a card through the door saying it's been taken to a neighbour's house. There was none of that. Absolutely nothing. Nothing through the door guys. There was literally no post that day. Whatsoever. So uh, straight away I jumped on to Royal Mail. And tried to report it. And they just keep telling me because it's been sent from outside the country, because it originally came from China, that I have to contact the seller on AliExpress. So I did that. I went over to the seller on AliExpress and uh, emailed them. It took them days and days and days to finally get back to me with this load of old garbage. You can see my message and their response, which is absolute bollocks. Um, yeah, so they're basically telling me to go back to Royal Mail, where Royal Mail are telling me to go to them. So I see it like this, guys. What's happened is it's been stolen. Whoever by, you know, by the postman, probably, because it says it's been delivered by him. So quite obviously, that's a lot of crap. And I think it's been stolen. Hmm. It might only be 12 quid, guys, but it's 12 quid I'm out of pocket now. And that really, really pisses me off, to be quite blunt and using bad language really really pisses me off um so yeah i am not happy 
and it looks to me like I'm going to just never ever get it because I keep getting pushed from pillar to post. I have absolutely no proof to say that it wasn't delivered because they obviously didn't send it to be signed for. So it's my word against theirs. The postal, you know, the postman or whoever was supposed to have delivered it is going to say that he delivered it and I can't prove any different. So what I'm going to do is after the uh, countdown of 30 days, whatever the crap in hell it is on AliExpress, I'm going to still try and go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, do some kind of claim on it. Uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere, guys, and I'm going to be 12 quid out of pocket. Nearly 12 quid out of pocket. Um, so, yeah, this is a cautionary tale, guys, of AliExpress. Now, I know it's not just down to them. It's down to their particular seller. You know, I've had good experiences on there, guys, like when I got the latest Pow Kitty handheld, it came in no time at all, fantastically packed, and it's a gorgeous thing. And it came. But this, not so much, eh? It is vapour, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm really paid off about it. And obviously, you see more images flashing up here to uh, show you how much I paid for it, and, and so on and so on. Um, yes, I'm not happy, guys. It might only be 12 quid, but it's 12 quid that I could have spent somewhere else, isn't it? And it's not the point. It could have been a pound, and I'd still be just as bloody annoyed. And it would have made a fantastic video. I was so looking forward to it, doing this really awful but good video, showing this weird little console, guys. And it is a weird little console, but it wasn't meant to be, was it? Um... Royal Mail say that sometimes uh, things get, you know, ticked off and uh, they weren't really and give it another day. Well, it's been it's been longer than that, guys. It's been days now and it's still, you know, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I know there's been the weekend, but even before that, yeah, nothing. So, yeah, very, very annoying. And let it be a caution to you when you're buying off AliExpress. Um, it's not always going to go right, guys. It isn't. It's not always going to go right. It certainly didn't go right for me this time. So, uh Maybe we should just all make sure that the items have to be signed for. I, I really don't know what the answer is. But I'm absolutely certain that I have just walked away from 12 quid, guys. Well, nearly 12 quid. So, yeah, there you go, guys. It's just another cautionary little tale. I'll uh, let you know how it goes in the end with uh, AliExpress when the 30 days are up. Sorry about that guys, it sounded like Oliver was tumbling down the stairs, but um, no he wasn't, luckily enough, because um, that's all I need isn't it, a child with two broken legs. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah. as I said guys, just then, after the 30 days I'll let you know how, go, how I get on, but I, I think I've lost 12 quid and that's all there is to it really, or nearly 12 quid. Um, but yeah, there you go guys, just another bloody package horror story, and this one will probably never get resolved, so uh, I'm probably just out of money. Yeah, which really, really annoys me. So yeah, there we go guys, another cautionary tale for you. Right, now just leaves me with the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And again guys, don't forget to tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any notifications. And with that guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And say, I'll feed us in. Juice. And goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.